All right, everyone. What is up? Welcome back to another lacrosse based video. Today, I've got one job, one job only. That is to get my head around a little bit of lacrosse, have a look at the rules which we've done, uh, watch a little bit of the top level, which we're about to do, and uh, you know, form my opinions from, from that. If I want to continue on with the lacrosse, I will. But I think after this, we'll probably be back to football. So with that being said, let's... What is happening, guys? Brody here. I'm not... So with that being said, let's have a look at our third lacrosse video of the day. It's titled, The Biggest Hits from the 2019 NCAA Lacrosse Season. I will have a look at, you know, uh, I guess a, a bit of Wikipedia information about the sport. I want to know... You know about the professional leagues, I want to know about the college leagues, I want to know how many games are in a season, I want to know who the best players are and why. But for now, we're going to be looking at college lacrosse, NCAA, the biggest hits. I don't know if any of these are going to be legal, but let's get into it. Acid Rock knocks it down, he wins the race and shovels it back. Dangerous pass, nearly picked off. That's, that's, a, that's a big shoulder charge, man. Do they have protective equipment? I'm not sure. Tell ya. Boofa! Clean! Anytime you hit a man, two hands on your stick. Dave Smith. Clean. Clean hit. Two handed stick hit. 5'9 senior from Shawnee High School in New Jersey. Captain. So the orange with dearth, splitting defenders, runs into Costabile, knocks him down, stays with it. Oh, and good footwork, mate. And they, dearth continues on. And they call it the Dominion Lions score. <laughs> okay, so that one was a truck, effectively, I guess. A truck by the offensive player over the defensive player. And, um, well, that's fucking awesome. Penn State, 15 and 1, look at that. And had the So is Bobby Burns. Let's have a look at that. The Mitney Lions score. Outlet and had to Burns who gets. Oh, helmet on helmet contact. Whoa, line is down. And so is Bobby Burns. I wouldn't be surprised if he got a concussion. Now let's watch this. He's a sophomore, Smith Townsend Wood. He definitely saw him coming though. Really good point. Just didn't expect that hit. Smith Townsend Wood. And lo and behold, what number is it? 27. Oh, the, the other guy's stick broke in half. <laughs> I was wondering why he started running off. I was like, is it to celebrate? Or is it to get a new stick? Wow, this is a game changer. That's a two minute penalty on Dan Wigley. It's non-releasable, so Penn State, even if they score before that two minutes expire, they'll still have the man advantage. Okay, so that was a pretty bad hit, actually. Right, and now I've just learned another rule. That if someone goes off and the other team scores, that negates that penalty and the, 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 the player comes back on. Bring it the other way just but that may not happen because once a player goes off the field, the team that loses the player usually just defends the box until that player comes back on. From what I'm led to believe. By himself, a brick wall at Oh, look at that! Don't slow down, buddy. You're gonna get smashed. Ah, oh, yeah. Physical play continuing in the start of the second half. Do that, and now here's the penalty. Personal foul. Nantico being Shoulder yeah! Flying Don't worry about what's going on behind you, mate. You better look in front. Teo Dunn. Totally oh. oh. yeah. See, I don't know what's legal and what's not, man. Sandwiched. Moore trying to shovel it off the ground. I honestly don't. Maryland. Right to left. Mm. Chin mm. straps, mouthpieces. Damn, man, that would be... That would be an absolute shock to the system. Man, this is awesome to watch, and you love seeing the goalies 
getting still active. <laughs> Volk is Bro, it's like hockey, but with helmets on and with tackles. You know, with shoulder charges. Like it is like hockey. It's it's <laughs> it's like a mixture of like rugby. Basically, a mixture of football and hockey Just an and handball. Annihilated near the far sideline. Bang! Coach Tanowski is over here. <laughs> Oh, big hit by the goalie. Throwing it down. Far bounces oh. off the crease. Scoreless so far bounces one towards the crease. A lot of contact right out there. Hands Coke got decked. Has heard the collision anywhere inside the dome. Got decked, all right. Look at those helmets. Gold. Lehigh trying to slip a pass into the interior, picking up the change momentarily, being getting decked right in front of the crease. Right there. To Trippy. Cook will try again. It's blocked by the defender. And what a shoulder challenge by Cook, and that yields the flag. And uh -huh. Fuck, oh my god, it's like pig and shit. Look at that. Gets players been oh my god, look at that mud. Laid out. <laughs> yeah, good luck playing on that. You see the reacts. Oh, nah, it's man. A helmet. Nah. From Tanner Cook on that's, Bowen. Nah, that's a three minute penalty. But McManus is the one who took that shot. Damn, straight on the jaw. He's, he's, that's a concussion. No doubt. Fop wins it. A lot of contact on Jacob Fop. Looked like a flag hit the turf and it did. Syracuse is going to get this possession. Echelberger. Defended there by Connors. Here's a hit applied. And now off the turnover, the Irish. With the advantage, Willits, a goal here in the second quarter, flags flying. No one is kind of their enforcer. This again, in the game of lacrosse, it's gone. You can't do that. It's late. So to me, that's more of a two minute. Look, he takes his arm off the stick. Okay, so you've got to have both hands on the stick for it to be a clean hit. Am I getting that? Raises his shoulder. He and that takes away an opportunity to really, you know, really sort of drive yourself into that opposing player especially if they're off center if they're not right in front of you it's going to be difficult he is really lucky that that's really perfect now say oh shit contact with the goalie there's a flag down no way that number four just went diving into him now behind the cage oh. yeah, that's a good call no he didn't long possession here for yale Moral around the bend, trying to feed inside. Flag is down. As Moral goes down, yeah, he got lit up. I didn't even see that. Released the ball. Offense. As Moral goes down, yeah, he got lit up. After he released the ball. Offense. As one of the greatest we've seen. This Ouch. Yale offense gets shots off oh. at will. 28 shots already. Four minutes and change left in the second quarter. This got a helmet in the back. This unit is relentless. But so good on the ground. Very athletic. And again, Notre Dame still looking for their first goal here in the second half. And they're going to be helped out by the penalty on Kennedy. This could be unreleasable. Man up somewhat. Anemic today. Kennedy just flattening Brendan Gleason. But he had two hands on the stick. Now, if you're, you're, if you're Notre Dame here, Thompson first with 400. Spencer gets sandwiched. No flag. Left side of your screen. Watch Spencer get triple teamed. Damn, man. That's clean. Get Skinner down. lifted off his feet. <laughs> TJ Malone. Oh, big tussle in the, the goal box. The goal circle. Caleb. Been their top freshman this yeah. year. It's unbelievable. A summer recruit. Yeah, it just tells you that the summer match. Fucking hell! Hey! Are not all the same. Right? 23, you're off, mate. That's unreleasable. Two minutes in the bin. It's like tulips. It's like tulips in my garden. The first best Connor Fields. Albany puts a long stick at the face off. Oh. That's Pat Burrow, a defenseman, a junior from Victor, New York, but it's still unsuccessful. Fop lost his helmet on the possession. Here's the hit on Jacob Fop. 
as he just gets clocked on the head at first, and then the second and third efforts put Fop on his back. Over with the uh, with his legs, and an absolute layout on the other end, and here comes the flag. <laughs> and the whistle See, was down. high. What a great playoff! To okay, so you got to keep your hands on the stick, but also nothing above the shoulders, I assume. Out by Virginia, Jacob throws a pass. And he's got both hands on the stick, but he does go for the head. Of a buddy pass, and I do not see that. I do not for sure. Montgomery trying to get through oh. four different defenders. Oh, oh beauty! Flag, Troutner, oh, man. That's a nice shake there to get topside. You see him draw two men. Over and back in the first 20 seconds of the shot clock. Gale comes away with it. What a lot of contact. So that's what gets the, you know, the biggest... The big cheers from the crowd is the big hits and the big scores. Um, what is an average crowd for NCAA lacrosse games? Uh, what do we got here? After eight consecutive years of falling attendance, the NCAA men's lacrosse championships, fuck off. Uh, at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia this past weekend saw an increase and, and announced 33,137 attended Saturday's semifinals between unseeded North Carolina and number, number 7 seed Loyola, Loyola, Loyola and number 7 seed Loyola Maryland in the first game and number 5 seed Brown and number 1 seed Maryland in the second. This was the largest crowd to watch the semifinals since 2011 when 45,000 came to M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. Okay. 30,000 people watching a game. Okay, so this is a three-day championship. The NCAA Men's Lacrosse Championships. Three days. From reading that, I assume that, you know, they have a, a top-level Division I NCAA year. Yeah, and all your conferences, divisions, all of that stuff, then the top teams come together for the championships for three days. They play like quarterfinals, semifinals, finals. I don't know. We're going to learn that though. But not today. Not today. That was the biggest hits from the 2019 NCAA lacrosse season. And big hits they were. I actually really enjoyed that. Um, I wouldn't actually mind watching a bit of lacrosse. Maybe if I looked at a few players and, and picked some out. If there was a player who was like just a beast, you know, six foot three, 200 and 220, 230 pounds, really fast, probably can jump too. Does that kind of athlete play lacrosse? Is there like a one in a million athlete that I should be looking at? If there is, let me know in the comment section below. But with all that being said, I hope you've enjoyed the video. In the next video, we're going to look at lacrosse for the final time of the day. And we're going to watch one that I think will be really good. Yale vs Virginia lacrosse highlights at the national championship. So it's going to be my first reaction to an actual game of lacrosse. Any lacrosse fans here, please let me know down in the comment section below. You know, if you have enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to subscribe, please do. But there's no time to lose. I'll see you back here shortly to check out Yale vs. Virginia. Peace out, everybody. I've been, I've been working to the morning, yeah. Yeah, they've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan on my way. Broom, broom, tell him I'm out my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling